Hey everybody, it's Mari and I'm here today with the reveal of the winner for August, Guess Who I Lifted. And I'm just going to start out by showing you all of the layouts again that I did and then I'll tell you who the designers are for each of the layouts. And then at the end I will announce the winner of the $20 gift card from scrapbook.com for the month of August. So the first designer and artist that I lifted was using or doing this um, layout and the artist that I lifted here was Tracy Banks and or Mercy Tierra in social media and most of you guessed that you you got that one this is a fairly recent layout of Tracy's that I lifted I think it was called Rib Fest or something like that super cute I love her work um, really love her personality everything she's just uh, seems like a really awesome person but um, and also amazingly talented so um, I really love this uh, layout of hers and I decided to create um, a very similar layout this is really really close to the layout that she did of course using different products but um, to go with the pictures that I used in my layout which were of a recent trip to Paris and this one was focusing on food which was the theme, generally speaking anyways, of Tracy's layout as well. So really loved that, loved her style. Um, so grateful for people like Tracy on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and all the other social media platforms where they share their work and inspire the rest of us, right, to do things um, with our own projects, right, so that we can document our memories and do the things that we want to do for ourselves. So really love that, love her work and thanks to Tracy. So that was Tracy's. And the next one that I did was this really clean, beautiful style of Stephanie Bryan. And many of you uh, guessed this was Stephanie's work. Love her work too. Um, I think she's morphed into a lot of Project Life, I believe, and mini albums. If I remember my research, I didn't go back and re-watch my videos before I'm doing this. But if I can recall, that was um, that was what I found a lot of a lot of her work to be. And um, it was so much fun to do this research and and look at these people's work and really examine the details of their style and and some things about you know the growth of their their um, professional work in the uh, designing industry or the paper crafting industry, etc. And uh, it was really neat. I just, I really enjoyed that. And I, I hope you did too. And uh, I just really love her style. I, I tried to um, emulate the, the kind of filters that she might use on her photos and the, you know, the border on the photo and so on. And just the, you know, the use of the white space and the, the really clean look. And it's just so pleasing to the eye. I really love that. Love her style. And uh, just, you know, it's so great, once again, just to have the inspiration to then create our own projects for the things that we want to document and remember and the things that, um, that are important to us in our memory keeping. So I really love how that one turned out. And the next one that I lifted is Marcy Penner. And she has kind of, a, I saw a lot of similarities in her style to Stephanie Bryan. Uh, the two of them uh, perhaps is maybe the, the time frame within which they were, you know, creating some of these projects or whatever and the influences at that time and so on. But I mean, love this. Love, love, love it. And I love everything about her projects and her work as well. Just gorgeous. Once again, lots of really clean uh, layouts and projects, um, the use of the white space, uh, lots of things like lots of distressing and and uh, kind of making things look a little bit, yeah, the distress look. Um, anyways, gorgeous, love this layout and I uh, really like her work as well. So that's Marcy Penner. You can tell I tried to work a couple of Canadians in there. So Tracy Banks and Marcy Penner are both Canadian. This is a completely different style, and this is um, using the style, or trying to use the style, of uh, Marta Laposka, and she is amazing. I mean, oh, wow, yeah, her projects are just really gorgeous, and 
layers and you know the distressing and just gorgeous beautiful feminine projects and she does a lot of the um a lot of you know really interesting uh dimensional projects with the covers of books and things like that her journals and just love her work and i'm going to leave all of the links for these artists in the description below and I'll leave I'll leave their YouTube links. Other than that, other links you can, you know, for their blogs and that sort of thing, you can check out from there. Usually they'll link up their other social media on their YouTube channels. So hopefully you can find more of their work. And um, the whole idea of this series was to um, to inspire you to look at some other artists' work and take a look at how you can incorporate that into your own style or just simply lifting their work to create something original in with your own products um, that will help you create and finish up some projects that you've been working on that um, that you want to get done. So uh, it's just it's really helpful, and I really, really, really once again um, am so appreciative of the work that's shared in this community that we all share together. I think it's really amazing, and I think it's a great way for us to. Uh, memory keep and share our projects. So I am going to insert right here a picture of that I took of um, a screenshot basically of the winner for August. And what I did was I took the all of the um, the URLs from the four videos that I uploaded onto YouTube for August for Guess Who I Lifted. And I dump them into a YouTube random comment picker. It shows four comments. I then put those people's, those four names into a random name picker. And it selected one name and that one name, and I'll put the insert the picture right here, is Kelly O'Black. And I'm not sure how I'm pronouncing, if I'm pronouncing that name right, but it's O-B-L-A-K, Kelly. And I am going to... Um, Hopefully I can get a hold of Kelly. I think she might be on a Facebook group or two that I belong to. So I'm hoping to reach out to Kelly. Kelly, you can message me, you can personal message me on Facebook or using YouTube and uh, let me know and I will get you the code for your gift card to either scrapbook.com or Simon System. Thanks so much you guys for joining me and thank you so much to all of the new subscribers and all of the people supporting my channel and watching the different projects that I upload weekly on YouTube. Um, I'm back to work now, back to work. I teach full time, I teach high school English and I am super busy at this time of year especially so I probably won't get as many videos up in the next month here as uh, I might normally have. I think I put up something like um, 25 videos over the summer, which is great because, uh, you know, during the school year, I don't get to put up as many videos as I'd like to, but I will try to do as much as I can here in the month of September and get some more projects up. I'd like to continue Guess Who I Lifted, but I probably won't do um, four videos a month. So I'd like to continue that series. It seems pretty popular. People seem to like it. Um, I might try to do maybe one video a month or something like that. So do you like my Alex and Annie bracelets guys? My sister gave them to me for my birthday. I just got them. So, um, yeah, I love them. They're gorgeous. They're so sparkly and shiny. Anyways, sorry about that tangent. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me and have an amazing day and I'll see you again on my channel. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.